The real world is nothing but your imagination. magical, vibrant saturation and manipulation of these images to the world of the fantastical. Uh, great use of the environment, uh, the location, the nature with the very highly curated aesthetic um, of the pastoral imagining. It was an interesting battle between merging the natural and the civilization, how civilization slowly devolves into nature and uh, is also interrupted, it interrupts nature. Um, I was just very mesmerized throughout, and uh, I thought the soundscape was excellent to bring a meditative, tranquil quality to it, so that these images could really come to life and go into their their fantastical nature of it. Well, this was a beautiful presentation of photographic painting, and movie making, and fabrics, and floral patterns in the fabric and in nature. The ethereal quality of the fabrics he chose and the way he fashioned them with people going underwater in their gowns and the fabric weaving and floating and suspended in the water, emphasizing the softness, the bright of the light and the bright vivid colors, really beautifully used uh, the water sounds and the insects bringing that part of nature into it without dialogue that's wonderful and i think the filmmaker wanted to bring the best of color and the most delicate beautiful parts of nature and bring them forward into the film this is experimental this is very artistic this is uh, an artist who uses an act of photography Photoshop. Uh, he paints on photos, so to speak. So you see a lot of that playing here. In addition to the short, we get to see different um, visual experiences being met. Uh, there is a, a whole sequence that is done underwater. And what was so special about this moment was being in a body of water represents this uh, sense of purity with the white as well. It only emphasizes this purity, sterilization, being reborn, having this rebirth, having this sense of uh, noticing within the water that this fabric has floral and bugs on it. And then we get to have these moments in time where we get to see our actors uh, like have a bug on their eye and have uh, them be in a field of what looks to be poppy flowers in this uh, bed of land and it's colorful and bright in these moments where it stands out and is abstract it's makes its point and shows the beauty of the world it shows us to take a moment to breathe and connect with nature. This artist makes it a point to kind of get this theme across that the real world is nothing but your imagination. Striking images in this piece. Like, for example, the woman with Vitilago walking through an art museum, and it's hard to determine who's the art. Is she the art, or is the art she viewing the art, or is both the art? Um, a lot of the imagery in this piece was very experimental in nature, very unique, but heavily symbolic. A lot of nature elements that I noticed. Uh, one of the other scenes that really uh, resonated with me was the dinner scene. I just found that scene to be strikingly beautiful. This was quite appealing, very rich visually with so many intersecting elements in an imagined reality with light, nature and movement. I love the underwater shots, their fabrics, their fluidity of 
those scenes. Abstraction and music work very well in this piece with a lavishing end scene, very creative, very, very bold. The dissection of the nature of the anatomy made by injecting surrealism into a very real and natural process. It transforms our notion of the digital world, you know, and by drawing on like classical art and history of art, it you know, suggests this idea that we encounter reality through art, uh, which is really, really interesting. Um, I would feel like in the point of we were we were drifting through a dreamscape, paradoxically, with the nature of reality. So that's really, really clever, you know, all these strange, rich, haunting, you know, surreal images. It was amusing and different, and it kind of reminded me of like some of Jim Henson's features, like Mirror Mask and Labyrinth and things like that, where they were unique worlds to explore. And this one kept going from world to world, going through mirrors and objects and windows and whatnot, looking through veils, the bugs crawling on the skin, even though it was CGI'd, is a little creepy. But this was, it felt very much like one of the old Jim Henson features where you're going into a different world that you want to know more about. It's very, very intriguing.